Suppose that you're trying to measure something that's really, really small. So you need to have a good microscope. And the smaller it is, the, the more powerful your microscope needs to be. And what that means is you're using smaller and smaller wavelengths of light or some kind of radiation. Physicists use all kinds of radiation. And it has to have smaller and smaller wavelengths if you're going to resolve finer and finer details. And that's fine. In quantum theory, that's perfectly fine. You can just keep going smaller and smaller. But relativity theory is the problem. Einstein told us that mass and energy are the same thing. And quantum theory tells tells us that energy um, is proportional to the frequency. The, the, the smaller the wavelength, the higher the energy. So as we're using smaller, smaller wavelengths in more and more powerful microscopes, the energy is going up and the energy density is going up because it's con concentrated in a small area. And Einstein tells us, well, that means you're concentrating mass in a small area. And at some point, the mass density is so high that you create a black hole and you actually destroy the very thing you're trying to observe. And this happens at 10 to the minus 33 centimeters or 10 to the minus 43 seconds. And for me, that's very shocking. It's only 10 to the minus 33. It's not 10 to the minus 33 trillion centimeters. It's just 10 to the minus 33 centimeters. So we have a pretty cheap headset. The headset resolution only goes down to 10 to the minus 33 centimeters, and then it falls apart. So it really is we're reaching, in some sense, the resolution limits of this space-time VR headset.